Tippy time, my damies, Top Cat here, and welcome back to the channel. Today we are looking at the new Warlock Exotic Boots, Reign of Fire. These can be attained from Lost Sectors on both Legend or Master. But of course you want to acquire these when it is actually a leg day, don't waste your time otherwise. The Reign of Fire's exotic perk is called Solar Fusilla. Air dodge reloads all of your weapons and improves airborne effectiveness for both fusion rifles and linear fusion rifles. Final blows with these weapons make you radiant. So we get a kill with our Vic Smither class here and it will proc radiate. Now your radiate buff will be active for 9 seconds. Unless of course you are rocking the Ember of Solace Solar Fragment. This will push out your Radiant timer to 14 seconds. In case you were wondering, the Radiant buff will proc when you get Fusion or Linear Fusion Rifle kills if you're on another subclass like Void, Arc or Stasis. However, I wouldn't really recommend this as you're only really going to be utilizing one third of the potential for this exotic. Back to the Vex, I would say this is going to be our top pick when using these boots. At base, the Vex does 36 for a crit. With Radiant, this is going to push it out to 39, which is modest at best. I believe it's somewhere around 8%. But when you start chaining these kills, it starts getting quite potent. After you get your third kill with the Vex, it's going to become overcharged. This is assuming that you've got the Catalyst. But, I mean... If you've gotten the Vex, you probably wanted to get the Catalyst, so I'm going to assume that you have. Three kills gets you two stacks each to get your full overcharge. And when that is combined with Radiant, you're going to get 47 per crit. So this is some rapid fire face melting damage. I ran these boots for a good amount of games, played different types of fusion rifles, both testing their airborne capabilities. I tried these with the boots and without the boots just to get a gauge on what the difference actually was like and I can tell you it's noticeable. Bungie has changed the airborne effectiveness at the beginning of season 17 and I'll tell you right now it's very dramatic like very dramatic. Between the airborne effectiveness or AE I'm just going to call it and the changes to flinch, crucible feels so different now. Meta and builds are going to be quite fluid over the next coming weeks. They should eventually flush themselves out once we've had a bit more time to get a fully understanding of it. But uh, for now, the meta is quite fluid. But these boots, they, they definitely help. They're going to give you plus 30 airborne effectiveness. Of course we are running these with our Solar Warlock and of course we are running Heat Rises. Heat Rises is going to give you an additional plus 70 airborne effectiveness. But Fusion Rifles are actually on the lowest weapon bracket. These only give you 10 plus 10 airborne effectiveness. But thankfully between these boots and Heat Rises you're going to have it maxed out at a 100 airborne effectiveness so this shouldn't really be too much of an issue if you're running the boots and the solar of course but you'll you'll definitely be noticing it if you're not running these exotics or a solar subclass fusion rifles are going to be drastically porridge but let's face it it's solar 3.0 why are we running other subclasses let's just burn the world to the ground have fun with our new toys the combination of being able to use both icarus dash and phoenix dive is a proper game changer. I love it. I think Patches of Hulahan from Dodgeball said it best. Dodge, duck, dip, dive and dodge. The mobility and functionality of this subclass is very, very exciting. Pair these up with one of the two ranged melees and you've also got access to all the solar grenades. This is just delicious. I would highly recommend speaking into both discipline and recovery. Discipline is we're going to be eating a lot of our grenades to get our heat rises and a recovery is I want to be able to maximize the most out of my phoenix dive. I, I want to try and always have that up. As you might have noticed by the gameplay in the background, I've tried this with a, a bevy of different fusion rifles and linear fusion rifles. 
The new Riptide Fusion Rifle was quite good. Same with the Cartesian. Nice quick charge fire rate. I was kind of struggling a little bit with the precisions in the air. But they were okay, you know, your main ingredients. Plug ones, things like that. Arbalest was good. Toasty slash uh, Jotun. Still, you know, basically broken. But I didn't really notice too much difference in terms of the airborne aim assist. It didn't seem to really affect this weapon. The Lorenz driver was very good. I, I hate to recommend this, but it's still very much a broken weapon. But Vex, Vex would definitely be my first pick. Just got good close range, good long range. You can also turn into the linear fusion rifle mode. Yeah, no, I, I think that will pair best with these exotic boots, and that's what I'm going to be using going forwards. Anyway, my damies, that's the review for today. Go farm these out inside of your lost sectors. Give them a go for yourself. Please smash that like button if you haven't already, and sub if you like. Chuck a comment down below if you have any questions. And as always, tippy tie, my damies. What a tie.